no hey guys welcome back to my channel so i love how i've got my washing in the background and i didn't even realize don't worry it's just uniform um so this week or around a week i'm going to be reading reading only ali hazelwood um I'll show you which books the first I'm going to be reading throughout the week. First one I'm going to start with is The Love Hypothesis. This is the first one that I owned of hers. Um, and it just feels right that the one that I start with for this video is the first one that was on my radar and that I actually own. Now, this book is 354 pages, but we will see because I'm working tomorrow. Um, and then Friday night, Saturday night. So I could get, I've got a chance to get reading done this week. Um, and also even sometimes a little bit at work. I haven't started it yet. We will see, I know this is short, but I am just tired. But I wanted to start this video because I wanted to start a book of hers, um, just because this is one of the ones that I picked out off my TBR jar at the start of the month. Okay, so update on the love hypothesis. I have now read 260 pages. So I the last time I spoke, to, I think, yeah, the last time I spoke to you, I think, did I even speak to you after I read six, 68 pages? I don't know. Um, but yeah, I'm obviously 260% 260 pages through the book. There's 350 pages in this book so I've got 90 to go um so I'm like I want to say maybe I'd estimate about 60% of the way through the book I'm both enjoying it and not at the same time like it's interesting enough that I'm going to keep reading I feel like it's going to be like a 3.5 um I am liking Adam though he's a grumpy but I'm enjoying Adam and like how he is and like he goes through this arc he goes through the biggest character arc like don't get me wrong olive goes through like changes throughout the book as well but i think adam becomes more so but we've just got to the part after her like talk honestly which i think that was the third act conflict which actually like you know how sometimes the conflicts happen between like the couples it didn't necessarily happen to the couple she's not telling him we all know he's gonna find out because just based off of this like talk and like what he was doing at the time i'm trying to not say too much it's not too like bad when i started this video i said i was going to read them in the order that i bought them which would technically mean that i started love on the brain next not started this yet um and the reason why i mentioned that is because during my lunch break staff room completely dark because there was staff sleeping um anyway i went to through my kindle i had a fantasy on there that i was reading didn't fancy it checker mate was 99p i looked to see if like love on the brain was on like kindle for 99p or even like love on the brain love hypothesis any of that um but it was just check and mate so um i have started check and mate on my kindle i know i never really made sense of the people who were like yeah i'm reading it between like my kindle and the physical book i only did it because i was literally on a night shift um and i just wanted to start the ali hazelwood book let me find my f it says page 22 literally i've read a chapter so I'm literally that far through the book. No thoughts, because I've literally read a chapter. Honestly, I'm going to remember where I was through this, because I'm that far. I'm so far through it, of course. That's kind of the update of where I'm at. I could definitely finish this today. I might even try it. I think that might be, like, my main goal, to finish it today. I think I'm going to... In some ways, I'm quite glad that I'm reading Check and Mate next, though. I think going from a STEM romance to a STEM romance would be a bit too much. Like, even though it goes from biology to neuroengineering, I still think it would be too, like, much. So actually having the chess romance is quite good. 
Now, I know this is classed as YA. From what I've heard, it's older YA, so more like 16, 17, rather than a 14 that apparently it is first rated as. Yeah, I don't know. It doesn't say on here. I quite like how these are all like 350 pages. It does make it quite nice um, for like reading. And actually, going back to Love Hypothesis, not all of that thickness is... I've only actually got that much through, like this bit, which basically is the same amount, but you know how you get like the 20 pages of like an excerpt, an excerpt, and like author's notes and acknowledgements and stuff. It is the 28th today. Is it the 28th? Jesus Christ. Yes. Being on a night shift has messed with what date it is. I definitely plan to get all three of them finished by the end of January. And I still need to sleep at some point. <laughs> we all love sleep, don't we? No. Yes, of course we do. Okay, so little update. I have now read, according to the book, I've read 247 pages. So which works out at this much. Um, I read a bit overnight read some more whilst my car was having its MOT, which luckily it passed. It didn't last year. I was expecting it not to this year for some reason. Like, but yeah, so I read some more of that. I read it on my Kindle. I haven't actually picked up the physical copy of this book at all. I've just been like marking my progress when I show you guys how far of the way through the book I am. Honestly, it's just fine. I'm feeling indifferent about it. This is definitely older YA, but I think it is YA. She's 18 and it's just kind of like, she's only just become an adult. She's still trying to figure out the world, um, but she's also trying to protect her family. Um, and although the themes are technically more mature, I think it is still YA. I know that it's somewhere people have found it's recommended for like 14 plus. And in some ways, it depends on the 14 year old, um, but actually I think it very much is 14 year old suitable because you've got to think there are people where the financial burden might be on their sibling or they might be in this kind of similar family situation for them to be able to read about something that they are going through and to know that it's like they're represented like i don't know like it's definitely older ya so probably more like 16 plus um just because i know that at 14 i wouldn't i personally wouldn't have wanted to read some of the stuff that's in here but also i can understand that there are some that would and that this like they're already experiencing this um because again there are people who have lots of sex so yeah, feeling indifferent. Um, I've made a little executive decision. So originally I had said, yeah, I'm only gonna be reading three books and I showed you them with it being Love Hypothesis, like Check and Mate and Love on the Brain. Um, I'm also going to be reading Bride. I um, haven't started it at all. I still haven't started Love on the Brain. Um, I don't know whether I... I don't think doing two romances from Ali Hazelwood is a wise idea. I would maybe do this and another one. Because it's... There's differences. Like, it's more... Like, this is paranormal. Um... Where is this just normal YA romance kind of thing? Um, that's kind of my progress through the book. There's like th three, yeah, there is literally like 350 pages. So, or actually like 347. So I have literally got 100 pages left. Very much could do this today. Um, also, I'm very much aware that the title says for a week and this is literally taking me like over a month um but i'm a mood reader 
I can understand why it appeals to people and it is interesting to read about the chest with it and like it talks about chest but it's not like too heavy because I think if it was too heavy it would lose a lot of people um like do you get what I mean so I think it's good how she's incorporated the chest without going too much because we all like to read about stuff that we probably aren't going to ever immerse ourselves into but it's kind of like well imagine if there was this like high like this famous like chess player that's like our age that's like goes like that's like talked about it in a real society it would probably drive up the interest in chess um yeah anyway i don't think the chess world and like chess kind of based stories are for me i still don't think stem ones are and i know that love on the brain is a stem but i think maybe the love hypothesis just didn't do do it for me but i'm expecting this is gonna be like a three star read okay so sorry about the angle but i have finished checker mates i finished it this morning yeah this morning um i rated it three stars a little bit underwhelmed didn't really connect to the characters at the end it got a little bit better um like i enjoyed it that little bit more but i don't think it got up to being like a 3.5 i don't know which book i'll start next whether that be bride or love on the brain um i haven't decided and honestly i'm tired despite it being 4 p.m but also i woke up at 8 p.m last night so um i'm going to bed I'm probably waking up in the morning. So, yeah, I don't know what I will read next, but yeah. I have to say, I don't film like this, or at least I haven't filmed like this in a while. Anyway, so update. Did I mention that I was going to read Bride? I don't think so. Technically, I've lost my page before, so I haven't. I'm, is it 62 pages? Yeah, so 62 pages, which is, like, literally this much. Um, and I've read three tra- th Yeah, three chapters. It's good so far. The mystery element of it just keeps developing. Um, and already it leaves a question of what's not been answered. Like, what's the answer to this, like, little mystery subplot? Um, because we've already found out why Misery agreed to this whole arrangement. It's really interesting. It's definitely like a twisted Romeo and Juliet. It took me too long to think of that. Um, but yeah, it's twisted Romeo and Juliet. Obviously, we all know how Romeo and Juliet ends, so let's hope it's not like that. I can already tell. That even though Lo is currently not treating Misery the greatest. Like you can already see how he's just moments away from breaking into this like half smile. You know like what where they describe him as. Where they describe a guy as how his mouth lifts in like one corner or whatever it's described as. You can already tell it's going to be like that. You can already tell he's going to be like that. I'm surprised I was able to get through this much. I'd actually read the first, I'd read the prologue and then put it down just because I wanted to start it. I'll probably continue on with more of this. I'm glad that I didn't read Love on the Brain next just because STEM romances, if you were to pair two together, they're literally just the so. That's kind of my current update. I literally earlier today finished another book. that I wasn't reading it for a video. Um, I was just decided to pick it up um, that I read on my Kindle. I keep looking for like Bride or Love on the Brain to be like 99p on my Kindle. But today for the first time I, with the other book, I literally did a, it's just to sit, you know those times where you can sit down and get lost in the reading? For like a couple of hours um yeah today i had the first time with that obviously not with this book but you've got to think 
it was the first 11 pages that were the prologue so i've read like 50 today which is a fairly good amount of pages to read in one sitting especially because the other book that i finished was like four and a half hours that i read and it was like six and a half hours in total for me to read i don't know how many pages it was so this update is a little couple of days late um but i finished bride by ali hazelwood um i enjoyed it it was different to i think this is my very first paranormal romance i think i've read stuff have i read anything with werewolves and vampires and i surely must have done um i've not read twilight i do own the first twilight book but yeah i enjoyed this i think i settled on a four stars um i definitely enjoyed this more to the love hypothesis i was about to say harry potter then because i've literally just picked my march tbr i'm currently about halfway through love on the brain i'm loving it i'm definitely i definitely got into it easier um than i did the love hypothesis i think I think because they're with the love hypothesis you're starting off focusing more on just Olive whereas right from the start you're focusing on B and Levi um, and that interaction and so in some ways the main male character is getting more screen time if that makes sense. Currently the book's on my bed I cannot be bothered to get up and grab it. Um, but I'm loving that one so much more. And I don't think it's necessarily the, like, science that's being talked about that's, like, I prefer it more. Like, I actually think it is just the fact that we're getting to the romance. Technically, we're getting to the romance part a little bit sooner. I'm at the point where she's just kind of starting to, like, soften up and see him as, like, not an asshole. We are, she's also in contact with someone over, I think, on Twitter. We all know how that's going to play out. We all know who that's going to end up being. So, obviously, I'm on the fourth book. This video has took longer than I expected. I love the fact that I originally said it was going to take a week. Mm. No. We're not going to take a week, Caitlin. We're going to take a whole month. Technically, it's just over a month at this point and i'm not even finished i could very much finish it today though if i wanted to i did read earlier a different book um that's the thing i've not made the book my main focus like i know so many people make those books seem to make those books their whole purpose of like the week um but obviously i haven't okay so i have now finished love on the brain it is quite literally like 10 p.m half nine it's half nine on the 29th of february that'll probably be the very few times that'll probably be the last time i say it before for another four years i really enjoyed love on the brain i i actually preferred it more compared to the love hypothesis i know that the love hypothesis has kind of like a hold on people like people loved it I personally have preferred this one just because I think we had more characters together time like Levi and B they had more time where they were together whereas this kind of focused on Olive's thoughts and like in a monologue if that makes sense it this felt more of like a rivals to lovers kind of thing like a misunderstanding also this was a good way to do the whole misunderstanding miscommunication trope you get what i mean like there's reasons for it yeah i just enjoyed this more and i although i literally only finished this like 10 minutes ago i think i'm gonna settle on a four stars it doesn't feel low enough to be a 3.5 and i don't think it's a 3.75 um but let's recap actually what did i even rate this i think i rated this a three stars it was okay i could understand why people use it as a palate cleanser um it just it wasn't for me i think it was it's not like i think it's more to do with again the fact that we focus more on olive and her in a monologue um 
it would have been nice to have had Adam's point of view because I don't think we got that did we yeah we never got Adam's perspective so it would have been cool if there was like the odd one sprinkled here and there it just felt too one-sided for me which obviously feels weird to say seeing as this is quite literally just from B's point of view but I feel like it was explored differently um so yeah three stars I think um then the next one I finished was checker mate I think I settled on a 3.5 I can't remember this was basically a month ago at this point when I read it um I think I settled on a 3.5 I can understand why people didn't enjoy think of this as like a YA I do think it I, I do think it still fits into the YA category because you've got to think there are 13 year olds having sex um although I would say this is more for like a 16 year old maybe 15 it's kind of like sex happens why are we stigmatizing I don't know whether stigmatizing is the word why are we creating so much stigma around it like it's going to happen I feel like sex obviously not every young adult is actually going to be comfortable reading about this but it's like fade to black which i think you know what for a ya i think fade to black is exactly how it needs to be and i enjoyed the whole family aspect and all of that explored um yeah then i read bride um i was about to say by ali hazelwood but we all know that by ali hazelwood um this was a paranormal romance i think this is my first ever paranormal romance i think in my clip i said it was a four stars i'm gonna revise that to a 3.75 especially after listening to rachel read this like i watched rachel's vlog where she like mood read um for a week and she pointed out that she enjoyed the like mystery plot and like what was happening with the friend potentially more than the actual romance which to be fair actually looking back I think that was partly what was keeping me going because actually the romance is sort of lacking and then is like insta love if you read it you know what I mean but I still thoroughly enjoyed this but I do think the whole best friend storyline kind of did keep up the rating but I would still recommend and then obviously love on the brain which i have rated a four stars it just it doesn't feel like a 3.75 it feels like a four i don't see it going up to a 4.5 but i enjoyed how levi was and also how he kind of explored his wrongdoings in the past and how the way he treated her came across to her and how he was trying to redeem himself for that did not see the ending like we know that there's stuff that's going wrong but i didn't expect it and i'm not meaning the epilogue or felicity just saying those are obviously the four ali hazelwood books that i read over the past six weeks i want to say it's over the past six weeks um definitely not a week might have titled this a week just saying because who wants to read i only read ali like who wants to read like a title that says monthly like that just people aren't gonna believe that also i've been a busy woman working um i might do some more reading tonight because there is a book that i started last night and got basically 50 percent of the way through and i am loving it so easy to get through shorter book i'm reading it on my kindle because i got it for 99p and oh maybe i'll include it in a reading vlog and it might be it might have been in my february wrap up we will see um but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed let me know if you've read any of these books what you thought of them i feel it feels weird to say that i'm one of the few people that i've actually read a book close to its release date because we all know I'm a bit late to the party, like, I have... I love how I was planning on reading Present City in February. Have we started it? No. It's a March thing. It's a March thing. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Again, let me know. Have you read them? What you thought? Do you plan to read them if you haven't? Um, and I will see you guys in my very next video, whenever the fuck I put that up. Bye, guys.